Hey guys and welcome to this tutorial in Maya. Today I'm going to show you how to create like something that is like really basic in rigging which is a IKFK switch. Uh, I'm going to show you how to make it via constraint which is the classic way and uh, also via matrix. Or with constraints I'm going to show you how to connect it with a driven key and also via reverse nodes. I'm going to create an attribute IKFK switch. No, actually it's just going to be IKFK or maybe FKIK is here. It's, it's the same. <laughs> you can keep it in float so it's going to be f uh, with decimals or you can put it in integer so it's going to be only value 0 to 1. Um, or you can put a num and just write IKFK or whatever. I'm just going to keep it in float because it's easier to understand for the people who is watching this for the first time. Then create a zero out or a group. If you don't know how to use comment, please check my previous tutorial. Lock and hide. And that's it. Okay, so I have three chains. The GNT chain, the IK, and the FK. So, starting for the first method, I'm going to select wrist FK, wrist IK, wrist GNT, constraint parent, elbow FK, elbow IK, elbow GNT, constraint parent, shoulder FK, shoulder IK, shoulder GNT, constraint parent. And I have three parents, and in this case, what I'm doing is that both IK and FK are controlling half of the GNT chain. Okay, so that's why FK is one and IK is one. And I want when I have the switch in FK, so zero, only FK to be on and IK to be uh, off, and vice versa. Okay. So, uh, let's do it by like the old way, old school way. So select the attribute and then select the parent constraints. And by hand just put the FK in 1, the IK in 0. And select both with this, uh, IK as a driver and this, and then key, and key, and key. Then switch to IK, and invert the numbers. Oh, whoa, whoa, 1, not 21. And then key, key, and key. Awesome, that's it. So what do I have here? When I when I mean zero, I mean FK, right? And I move the FK chain, it is moving completely my joint chain. And if I switch slowly to IK, slowly, now you see that the GNT chain is moving from one to the other, and that's a switching. Now, let me pause this. The other method, again with parent constraints, is connecting via a reverse node. So everything is again in 111, okay? With no connections, not set driven key. And I'm just going to go to window general editors, connection editor, reload left, the switch IK, and reload the constraints. Uh, you can turn this shown on keyable so you can have less information here. And I want a IK turn off when it's zero, turn on when it's one. So just connect the switch to IK. Okay, so it's zero when it's zero and it's one when it's one. That's great. DFK has to be the opposite of this, so we have to create a reverse node. So I'm just going to the node editor, select the IK FK switching, just hide this for a second, create a reverse node with tap, reverse, and connect the IK FK to the input X. And call this uh, arm rep. 
or so. Now call the oh, oopsie. <laughs> now call the arm reverse as a reload left in here. Show non keyable on. Input the sorry output x into fk, and it's going to be the reverse of what I do when I switch. Okay, so you can see that I have 0, 01, 0, 01, 0, 01, and if I switch back to FK, it's again 10, 0, 10, 0, 10, 0. and again it's working. You see? And if I go back to 1, it's the same. Okay, now let's jump to the third method. There isn't any constraint anymore, everything is clean. So let's select all the chain and go to node editor, put them in here and try to uh, do a little bit of cleanup and put uh, for example FK, IK and shoulder GNT, FK, IK, elbow and elbow GNT and like this, okay? Something like that. Awesome. Now create with tab a blend matrix. Blend. And right click. Show all attributes. Okay. Now connect the shoulder FK world matrix 0 to input matrix and then the IK again world matrix to the target zero target matrix sorry <laughs> and then connect uh, the output matrix to the hmm, find it in here offset pattern matrix Okay, and now you have to do exactly the same with the other two. So just duplicate this, Control D, Control D. You can rename this if you want. Um, show all attributes, show all attributes. So word matrix to input matrix and word matrix to target matrix or matrix and again one more time Okay, so here the output matrix to the offset parent matrix and this one to this one. And now the only thing you need to do is to connect it to the switch. And you can do this by selecting the IKFK attribute that you created previously and connect it to the envelope in the three of them obviously now this looks like shit okay <laughs> and it's normal don't worry so the thing is that matrices are taking the transformations that uh, from the other chains so this one is like having double transformation so you can select the three joints of the GNT and just put everything translate and rotate into zero and it's not going to fix everything so just go to attribute editor and remove the inherits transform and magically it's working so I think I'm in FK, I think I connect this correctly. <laughs> so yeah, 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 I did it right, yes. <laughs> and again, if I switch to IK, 
You see? Awesome. With matrix. That's awesome. There is another method without using parent constraints or matrices, which is blend colors. I really don't like this method because it's tedious and boring <laughs> to create, but it's better in performance than the constraints. So select shoulder, shoulder, shoulder. I I'm just going to create with shoulder, but you have to do it with elbow and wrist as well, the same technique. So, we have shoulder, FK and IK and the GNT in here. I'm going to create blend colors using tab and duplicate. Now select and this blend colors uh, is going to be blend colors translate. And this one is going to be blend colors rotate. And obviously it should be called shoulder, <laughs> but yeah. So connect the translation, or translate, of the shoulder FK into color 1 and the translation, translate, into color 2. Uh -huh. And the rotation into color 1 and the rotation oh, into color 2. Okay, and then connect the output color or the output into translate and then the output into rotate and the only remaining stuff is obviously to connect the um, uh, control so select the IKFK and connect it to blender <laughs> funny joke I can I can't wait for the funny joke in here and that's it you have IKFK and when you move where are And I probably connected the wrong way. <laughs> yep. Okay, so you can see that it's working obviously only the shoulder. This one is not working because you need to connect it. And I connected um, the wrong way. To make it work e exactly as the other ones, you need to connect it uh, differently. I mean, for example, instead of FK being color 1, it should be color 2, and IK should be color 1, and that's it. But it, it's working, it's, it's going to work the same, it's only different from the other. And yeah, that's the three methods that I can show you on how to create a switch from IK FK.